Chapter 11 I tried to cry out, I tried to shout, to call to my body down below, but I couldn't make a sound. How can I be in two places? How can I be up here and down there? I wondered, terrified. As I floated in the mist, I tried to raise my hands in front of my face. No hands! I swirled in the wind, trying to glimpse my legs, my feet. No, not there! I'm invisible! I realized to my horror. I'm me. I'm only my mind. I'm me, floating above my own body. And then more horror. I watched helplessly as, down below, my body wiggled its fingers. It stretched out its legs, then swung its head, my head, from side to side. Then it blinked and smiled. A smile I made with my lips, but not my smile. My nostrils flared and my lips moved in a way that I could never move them. They turned down in the corners, curved into a cold, cruel sneer. Watching in disbelief from the mist above, I tried to scream, but I couldn't make a sound. Down below, my head turned. It raised its eyes to me, as if it could see me. Goodbye, Spencer, it said in almost my voice. A little raspy, a little hoarse, but almost my voice. Huh? Goodbye? I watched my eyes flash in the moonlight. The sneer on my face deepened. You disturbed my rest. Your body is mine now. I've been waiting so long. Huh? You rose up from the grave? I cried. A silent cry. No sound. No sound at all. But I could think. Despite my panic, I could still think. Are you a ghoul? I demanded. Are you really a graveyard ghoul? Not anymore. Now I am you, he answered me. I was silent, but he heard me. He can hear my thoughts. You can't have my body, I screamed. I tried to float lower. I tried to float back to myself, but I couldn't move. The heavy mist seemed to hold me in place. Do you hear me? You can't have my body, but I do have it, the ghoul answered in my voice. No, I will. No. And then... Through the icy mist, I heard another voice in the distance. He's over there. Audra's voice. That's where they tied him up. Her words drifted up Highgrave Hill. I could see her racing up the steep slope. And who was that running behind her? My parents and hers. Where, where is he? I heard my mother cry. And then I saw Audra point to the tall gravestone where my body was tied. Spencer, Spencer! Mom rushed up to my body. Are you okay? I watched in horror as my head nodded yes. Don't worry, that started to work at the rope. We'll have you out of here in no time. Floating in the mist above, I saw the ghoul's lips, my lips, spread into a grin, a triumphant grin. His eyes, my eyes, grew wide with joy. The bitter high grave hill wind picked up, pushing me forward until I floated low over all of them. Don't! I screamed down at them. Don't untie him! He's not me! Please, don't untie him.